Hello, welcome to the Everton News Daily. Uh, all of Triple Seven's partner football assets in Belgium have been seized. That is according to reports today. Uh, Standard Liège's game last week was postponed due to riots. Uh, against the Triple Seven partners, that was their game against Westerlo, and this follows on from a story yesterday that Vasco da Gama had taken Triple Seven partners to court to uh, to take control of them. The court ruled with Vasco da Gama and took control back from Triple Seven, and the assets being seized uh, in Belgium adds to the woes that Triple uh, Seven are experiencing at the moment. It obviously will negatively impact on their takeover of Everton Football Club, uh, but there is it is understood there is an agreement in place with Farad Mashiri until May the 31st, so probably the current Everton owner can't do anything to, uh, to terminate their agreements until that date. Um, yeah, listen, it, this looks less and less likely as the days go by that Triple Seven will become the new owners of Everton. Farad Mashiri is reportedly uh, looking at other options. That can only be a good thing for Everton. If this, and it seems highly likely it will collapse this uh, this deal, Everton needs to be ready, or sorry, Mashiri needs to be ready to move on to the next thing as soon as 12.01 on June the 1st, really. We need this sorted out, uh, and let's hope that he can come up with um, a deal with more suitable candidates and ones who will pass the fit and proper owners uh, test in the 12 weeks that the Premier League normally take to approve somebody. Um, let's hope that happens soon, because this has dragged on. It's ridiculous that it's gone on this long, and it, the, it's just getting worse and worse. The stories coming out about uh, the Triple Seven partner group, so it needs uh, sorting out ASAP. Uh, following on from that, Mayor of Manchester, Andy Burnham, spoken uh, on BBC about potential new Everton owners. He said, Everton have had a tough time, but we can not see light at the end of the tunnel. I am working behind the scenes to make sure the interests of Everton supporters are reflected in the new ownership. He didn't clarify whether that was with AJ Bell and George Downing, who are obviously two Evertonians who appear to be involved with the MSP Sports Group, um, or whether Andy Burnham is talking to Farab Mashiri and advising him. We don't know. These were just comments uh, as part of an interview, but he is keen to ensure that Everton ends up in the hands of appropriate owners. Uh, he said, did talk about Triple Seven and, and kind of said they weren't the right type of owner that he would hope would take over Everton Football Club. Everton defender Jarrod Branthwaite has today been linked with a move to Chelsea. Uh, the former Chelsea and Everton winger Pat Nevin said that he would be an ideal replacement for Thiago Silva, who is leaving Chelsea this summer, uh, should Everton choose to cash in on Branthwaite. Uh, obviously, uh, Nevin does a lot of punditry for Chelsea, does a bit for Everton as well, but um, he's got an interest in both camps, hasn't he? And, uh, Branthwaite will be on the radar of the top clubs. He's had an exceptional season for Everton. Hopefully, we keep him for another year, but with every nut in the air, God knows uh, whether he'll remain at Goodison Park or not. And finally, with a little more than a year to go until Everton's new stadium opens, uh, the club have reported today that 80% of the all-seasonal memberships have now sold out. Uh, that's following three previous sell-out phases for restaurants and the further 2,000 fans have now secured uh, seasonal memberships across the Village Street and Trinity Place Bar, leaving only limited availability within the all-bars packages as we gear up to move from Goodison Park in a year's time. So... Good news there. The club will want all of those sold. And I think if Everton do get more positive news and we do get ownership sorted out, I think supporters' interest will increase again in those packages as we try to move the football club forward. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you later.